How y'all doing? I'm here to try to teach you ragamuffin. Um, you'll notice that I don't play exactly like Michael Hedges, and that's because I'm not. I'm Chris Smock, and I play the way I play. Uh, but I can show you how to play this song competently with a flow and give you most of the tricks that he does. He has a few that I haven't figured out, and I've watched some of his live videos, but it doesn't matter. I like playing this, and you'll get plenty of oohs and ahs if you play it in front of people, and you can do it with a flow, so it's fun. It's in Dad Gad, of course, so it's uh, match your low E and your high E to the D, so they all match. Match your high B to the A, and leave your G alone. That's Dad Gad. It starts out on the second fret, kind of like a a seventh figure except that it's on the first string and the third string and leave the, the uh, other strings open so start here pluck the fourth third and first string and that's the opening that's the opening chord so uh, a lot of this is about hammer-ons and pull-offs um, and you'll find that out as I go through pluck this hammer on the pinky on the third string or on the third fret on the first string and pull off pull off the ring finger sorry pull off the middle finger and pull off the ring finger so real slowly it's and then pluck the second string and the fourth string real slow here is he goes to the second string on the second fret and the fourth string on the second fret and he just hammers those on he doesn't pluck at all and he hammers on his pinky on the second string on the third fret like that all right so sounds fast. Okay, slide this A7 looking like chord up to the third fret and just pluck those two strings, the second and the fourth when you slide it. And then third string is open, pep it, and pluck the first string open. So slide up to the fifth fret and then Hit the index finger on the third string on the fourth fret. Okay, and then let everything off except for your middle finger on the fourth or fifth fret on the uh, fourth string. So, let's see if you can see this. fingers on the fifth and the fourth string on the fifth fret. You can either use two fingers, but I find that it's easier to use one finger and just smash them down. Like that. You don't want this first string to ring out. You want to hit it and let it ring there. The next hit, you don't want it to ring out. 
and then you pluck the fourth and the third string out of it. So. six strings on the fifth fret and then hit the guitar as you strum it in other words use your use your middle finger to flick and flick at the same time you hit your palm for bass on the guitar so right. what he's doing here is he is on all six strings now he does an explosive pull up. That's where you take the tip of the finger and pull off on all six strings. You're holding this. You hit. Pull off. Do that again. The second time he hits, he only hits the first four strings one, two, and three, and four. So the first time it's all six. Second time it's. And he stops the action on the guitar. A, A is the best way to describe it after that. So. A, A, 5, 2. 8 on the 6th string. 7 on the 1st string. Hammer on. On the first string. This, all this action's on the first string. Hammer on one fret above on the eighth. Pull off. Like that. So. Now, second string on the eighth fret. Hit the A as you're sliding up to the tenth fret. string on the 10th fret and slide it up to the 12th fret. Open A. Oh, sorry. That's right. Fifth fret on the E string. Or it's a D string. It's the 6th string. 3rd string open. 3rd string at 3rd fret. Sorry, third string on the second fret. So, fifth fret, third fret, and this is. Stop there and we'll do the next part in a second.